up yacht? Yours? That's right. Makes some kind of maverick when it comes to airplanes, huh? Yeah, but we find it kind of handy. I've heard that. That's why I came up here from Dale County. That's a cattle district, you know. You're a rancher. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be spotted for one in this dude get-up. Carver's my name, George Carver. P.T. Moore. Chuck Barton. Understand you hire out. That's right. Well, I'm here to talk a deal. Well, our deals are based on time and distance. Well, distance and time won't mean much in this case. Anyway, we're not worried about the price. You do the job. When you finish, you tell us what it is, and I'll have the association write you out a check pronto. Association? Dale County Cattlemen's Association. I'm the president. I'm taking it on myself to hire you. Because some of our members got pretty old-fashioned ideas. They won't cotton to this flying bronco for our job. Walt Harrow and the rest. But don't you worry about Walt near the holdouts. I'll sell them. Sell them on exactly what, Mr. Carver? Keeping tab on the cattle in Dale County. Oh, you mean herding? I mean stopping the stealing. I mean patrolling the ranges from up there. Put an end to this rash of rustling that's broken out in Dale County. That's Walt Harris' place there below. He's moved his main herd over near the south range, near the corral. There's no indication of how they were wrestled. They just vanished, like in the thin air. And no sign of where they were taken. Happened in broad daylight, so... You count the herd in the morning, come sunset, 15 or 20 head be missing. You figure it out. Well, you said that one of your herds was the latest to be rustled. Day before yesterday, 15 of my best men. They're grazing near the arroyo over the south pasture. I can show you where that is if you're interested. I'd like to take a look. Over that ridge to your right. Twenty of my best head. Left grazing out with the rest of the herd in the morning, gone by nightfall. Do your cattle graze around here very much? Oh, there's one of the best spots. Grass here's rich as any on the ranch. And there's water in that arroyo. It's a good spot to water the cattle, too. Of course, coming out here now is like looking into a barn after the door's been open all night. <laughs> no harm in looking around, though, is there? Oh, help yourself. In the thin air. That yeah, looks like. Mr. Carver? Huh? P.T., come here. You don't use automobiles for herding cattle, do you? No, horses still stand by for that. Well, you're lucky. Huh? In a way. What are you talking about? How your cattle were rustled, yours and the other ranchers. Fortunately, the ground is still soft. Tire tracks. Double tires. Extra heavy duty type. So they carted them off by truck. Nobody figured on that, except the rustlers. Is there a road or a highway near here? Yeah, about half a mile over that way. And the other rustling jobs, were the cattle grazing near roads? Yeah, it just so happened, I think. I don't think it just so happened. What do you mean? Well, it doesn't take a detective to figure out that the rustlers bided their time until the cattle were grazing in areas accessible to trucking. You mean you think they had inside information? What do you think? Well, it's possible, I reckon. We better get back to my house and I'll phone the other members of the association and get you fellas started. Transmission fix, Carl? Sure, Sid. It's an A1 order. Well, I don't want to run into any trouble once we get them stairs loaded. It's 100% now, Sid. I guarantee it. Good. Any calls for me? No, Sid. You know, I don't know why I play the horses when cattle pays off so much better. Sid. Yeah? You know, I'd feel a lot better if I... If what? Well, if I knew just who we were working for. You would, huh? Much better. 
So with Charlie. He feels the same as I do. Sort of left out of things. Well, you're getting good pay, aren't you? Oh, that's not what's bothering us. Like I said... I heard what you said. And the answer is still no. The inside man wants it that way. And that's the way it's going to be. There's been no trouble so far. And there's not going to be any. It's a perfect setup. And nothing's going to spoil it. Okay. All right, meeting's called to order. I thought you've all seen the copter and you've all met the pilots, Mr. Moore and Mr. Martin. Like I told you all on the phone, thanks to Mr. Martin, we now know how the rustling was done. So I figure there's nobody here who's going to object to my idea about using the copter. Am I right? You're wrong. No, oh, Walt, that's not right. I still object. He objects. Look, George, I've got a right to be heard. All right, simmer down, everybody, simmer down. Walt's got the floor. I haven't got any interest in any newfangled contraptions. Rustling is still an old-fashioned scheme, and I say fight it with old-fashioned methods. But we know now the rustlers are using modern methods, trucking. It doesn't make any difference, Frank. We can put an end to it our own way, the good old-fashioned Western way. You're as stubborn as a mule, Walt. Maybe I am, but I don't cotton to outside interference. I was and still am dead set against bringing strangers in to settle a problem we can settle ourselves. Walt has made his little speech. We all know it by heart. We're here to vote. I say let's vote. <laughs> sure, Devlin. It's easy for you to talk. What do you mean by that? You didn't lose any cattle. You can afford to talk. You weren't rustled like Harry, Art, Jim, and me. <laughs> what do you care? Maybe I care more than you do. You Maybe mean I to tell me... All right, you settle down, down, down. I'm still running this meeting. Now sit down. We'll vote. All in favor of using the cop to raise a hand. I will use the copter. Now, Mr. Martin's got a few things to say. Before he does, though, I'm going to ask you all to keep this meeting secret. Don't tell your hired hands any of the details. All right, gentlemen, we'll make it short and to the point. If you all come over to the map, please. Gentlemen. 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 After studying this map of your ranch lands and making a note of which place the raids took place, it's pretty obvious the rustlers have been acting in a set pattern. First of all, the raids have taken place in this section. Secondly, they've taken place near highways or back roads. And thirdly, well, you know about the tire tracks. Now, it's very possible the raids will continue in this pattern. So I'm advising you ranchers that have grazing land in this area to stay alert. Meantime, Mr. Moore and I will maintain a patrol overhead. If we cover this limited section by land and air, I'm fairly certain you'll get results.
That's about all we can handle, Sid. All right, lock it up and let's get moving. get back to time for that meeting. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, I guess you might as well. Well, gentlemen, all reports are in. There's no activity today. We'll try again tomorrow. I guess that's it. That's fine with me. I'm tired of playing cowboys and rustlers, especially when there's no rustlers around. Now, Walt, look, we had a vote. We decided... All right, you I... had a vote. I'm going along with this nonsense, but that doesn't mean that I like it. Now, you take it from me, George. It's not going to work out. George. What's the matter, Frank? One of my herd's been rustled. Eighteen head. I was on my way over here to the meeting when one of the hired hands rode in off the range to tell me about it. Eighteen head. Eighteen head. That's all right, I'll tell you. Quiet down, down. I gotta talk this over calmly with horse sense. But not with helicopter sense. Now, look, while I'm talking. You did enough talking, Carver. And enough arranging. I told you all. I warned you about this, but you wouldn't listen to me. But now that you see what happened to Frank Devlin, maybe you're ready to listen. Look, I guess this is my fault in a way. You bet it is. In every way. You thought you had it all figured out on that map over there. You had us guarding the front door while those cattle thieves come in the back way. Men, do we want him and his partner around here anymore? Do we? No. no. There's your answer, Carver. So I guess you can invite your friends to leave this county. Sorry, George. Walt was rough on you. But I guess he's right. I sure look good on paper. Well, it could have been a good idea. But I'm pretty sure they've got an inside man giving information to the rustlers. They set out purposely to make fools out of us, and so far they have. I'm sorry I got you fellas into this. All my fault. Still think it looked like a good idea in the beginning. And now? Well, I admit it only to you, but I still think it's a good idea. Mr. Carver, you hired us to do a job. If you're still willing, we'd like to stay until it's finished. I've got another idea I've been mulling around. We'll need the help of one more rancher besides yourself. One you're sure you can trust. Now you tell me what's on your mind, and I'll have a talk with Harry Belmont. Well, the idea is based on the patrol system. We'll have shortwave radios and a couple of automobiles, and we'll tell you from the helicopter how to proceed if we spot any kind of a truck or a car that... Having trouble with this thing again, Carl? No, Sid. Just checking to make sure. We'll make sure it's working good for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Another job so soon? Yeah, I just got a call from the inside man. Now we can take what we want, when we want it. That copter's out of the picture. There's nothing to worry about. Good. Just so we know what we're doing, let's go over this thing again. Mr. Carver, you'll be in this position here. Right. Sitting in your car and ready. Mr. Belmont, you'll be over here. Now, if we spot anything from the air, we'll call in to you and let you know how to proceed. You'll keep us advised by radio, but we can close in. That's correct. Now, check the car radios. They're both on our wavelength. But Harry and I don't know much about the shortwave communication business. I wonder if you... There's nothing to know. All you have to do is sit in your car, listen, and be ready. Don't worry. We'll be ready.
Carter to Carver. We've just passed over the Ferguson Ranch and are heading due east to cover the Shelby Ranch. Continue to stand by. Out. Copter to Belmont. Copter to Belmont. We are heading due east to cover the Shelby Ranch. Continue to stand by. Out. Copter to Belmont, spin please, over. Completed patrol of the Shelby Ranch, report negative. Now headed due north to cover Gilbert Ranch, over and out.
around? I'd rather take a chance and wait. For what? He might lead us somewhere. We'll stay far behind so he won't suspect we're following him. Yeah, but I hadn't seen you. What's it when I give an order? They got the truck. They what? Yeah, and Carl and Charlie. He told me that copter was out of the picture. Copter? Yeah, that's how they got the truck. They trailed us from the Ward Ranch. You said everything was fixed and there was nothing to worry about. Now, P.T., you can see why he headed into the Devlin Ranch. Frank Devlin himself, the inside man. And he even had his own herd rustle. As a cover-up. I had everything arranged perfect. Even had some of my own steer stolen. And you have to show up here. Well, where else can I go? Look, you've got to help me. How do you know they didn't follow you here? You don't see the copter, do you? All you've got to do is hide me out till it gets dark. You ought to me. Protected you, Mr. Devlin. Nobody knows you're in this thing. Carl or Charlie either. Nobody but me. I've seen to that. And I'll continue to see to it. Well, you can trust me. I know I can now. Mr. Devlin. Yes, it's just as right that you do come here. Now I can make sure. Get in the car. We're going for a drive. Come on, get up. Sit, I'll make a deal with you. Yeah, I'll bet you. Look, they'll get you too. Sure, I know they will. But now I figure it's worth it, as long as you're included. After you, Mr. Devlin. <laughs> <laughs> 